Hello, I'm Brian Rene Toledano from the Medical City, Ortigas Cardiovascular Institute. My journey as a heart doctor started at the Philippine Heart Center where I had my fellowship. At that time, I saw the plight of many Filipinos suffering from severe forms of coronary, peripheral, congenital, and valvular heart diseases, especially those that were rheumatic in origin. It had come to my attention that our local data regarding these illnesses were lacking, hence I was encouraged to bridge the gap by doing clinical research and having them publish. I was inspired to pursue further training with the intention of helping patients needing mechanical intervention aside from medical support. Currently, I'm one of the Interventional Cardiology Fellow in the Medical City with Dr. Christy Garganera. We have three catheterization laboratories under the guidance of Dr. Eugene Ramos and Dr. Gary Martinez. I'm privileged to have been surrounded by mentors who believe that the greatest form of mastery is not just by doing but through teaching and supervising me to do the procedures. Our case presentations included complex PCI with Dr. Michael Angelo Sabas and Dr. Paulo Prado and structural heart interventions with Dr. Timothy D and Dr. Dexter Cheng. I had come to know the CVRF events because the course directors were cardiologists I look up to. They were the authors of the studies and trials I have read and used. I am fortunate enough to have presented in the past three meetings both virtual and on-site in Complex PCI 2021, PCTAP, and AP Valves SH 2022. The experience of being selected and regarded despite the limited resources in our country means we can do cutting-edge and innovative procedures. It was also very memorable because I was able to interact and learn from esteemed cardiologists and obtain feedbacks from attendees worldwide. I enjoyed all the CVRF events. The live demonstration and the transmission from international centers showed the basic and advanced techniques in performing each procedure to the highest standards. The workshops and keynote lectures were evidence-based, which answered debates regarding current treatment and management. The studies presented were excellent, mostly involving the Asian population, making them more applicable to our clinical scenario. At the AP Valves SH event that celebrated the 20th anniversary of TAVI, Dr. Alain Krieber was very inspiring. From his life story, how people from the biomedical field first thought his idea was crazy, how he never gave up and eventually saved many lives around. I was also starstruck to meet and ask Dr. D.W. Park and Dr. Jun Min An to sign my book. Growing up, I had always thought that the heart was the most crucial part of the human body. I discovered that various diseases affecting it are the leading causes of morbidity and mortality. My parents, who were also doctors, inspired me to be a cardiologist so I can be of service to the many. What I like most about it is the amount of time and dedication needed to have the necessary skills from clinical, research, procedural, and the like. It was also heartwarming to see acutely ill patients survive using minimally invasive transcatheter procedures. I'm about to complete the two-year interventional fellowship program next year, and I'm in the process of finding opportunities in structural or peripheral vascular training. In the coming years, I would like to improve the registries in our country so we can provide robust data in managing cardiovascular diseases among Filipinos. Moreover, I hope we could be included in the so-called multi-center and international trials. I also wish to find solutions in doing minimally invasive transcatheter implantations in valvular rheumatic heart disease that are deemed inoperable. Thank you to CVRF for letting me share my story and I'm inviting everyone to continue to support their events. Music